Hey you guys, my name is Tasia. If you are new here, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. As you guys probably saw from the title, today we are finally filming the final, final apartment tour. If you guys remember, I recorded my empty apartment tour when I first moved into this apartment. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it in the cards, go check it out. But I mentioned in the video that it was gonna take me a little while to kind of like really finalize my apartment, kind of just like a background. So my first apartment was a studio apartment in Hyde Park. So it was really, really small. I think it was like no more than like 320 square feet. If you guys have not seen either of those apartment tours, again, I'll link those in the cards. My second apartment was another studio. It was a bigger studio in the South Loop. If you guys have not seen those apartment tours, I'll link those in the cards. And so here I am now in my first one bedroom apartment. So I upgraded to a one bedroom apartment in the Brownsville neighborhood. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this apartment. I just also want to make let you guys know a lot of my stuff is from my other apartments. So I'm not going to link any of that stuff below, but anything that I bought specifically for this apartment that's brand new, I'll link all of that down in the description box. However, if there is anything that you guys see in this video that you don't see in the description box because it's from my old apartments, just let me know down in the comments if you guys want the link to that stuff and I'll put the link down there. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, you guys, so here we are at the front of my apartment. So this is what the front door looks like. Very, very plain. I just have my umbrella up here. To my right is my coat closet slash storage closet. So all of my luggage, coats, jackets, hoodies, all of that stuff is in there. And then on the other side, I just have like a lot of my cleaning supplies. It's not really organized, so <laughs> yeah. Next to my front door, I have my runner rug that just, you know, helps to not track dirt on my floor because I hate that. But that's pretty much the entryway. Next, we're gonna look at the kitchen. So right when you come to the door, you see my kitchen. So we have my full-size refrigerator. We have my cabinets and all of that microwave oven dishwasher all of that so yeah i have my paper towels mints dish soap cooking books measuring cups utensils toaster blender water bottles all of that out i kind of really wanted my kitchen to be very very simple and clean so that's why it's not that much stuff out oh and also my garbage can so my kitchen is very very clean the theme of my kitchen was pretty much what the color of the kitchen was so green and white I don't know if I mentioned this before, but a lot of the rooms in my apartment are just gray and white with hints of blue because I feel like the countertops kind of had a hint of blue and then just miscellaneous colors. So that's the kitchen, nice and simple and clean. After you leave the kitchen, we go into the living area. So right here in my walkway, I just have like my shoe rug where people take off their shoes, go into the living room. So a continuation of the kitchen, I do have a breakfast bar. I do not have any um, bar stools because I kind of use the underneath space as storage. So I have like my little workout corner for all of my wonderful workouts. I have some snack tables, more breakfast tables and then a lot of my electronics filming stuff and this random buggy is here right here in the corner i just have like my olive oils um oven mitts cutting board and then this is my little recreational corner and then i have a little quote that says enjoy the little things because these are the little things in life <laughs> after that we come to the big big living room so i just have some snack tables out because i usually just have two out because one i use one obviously and then if i ever have someone over we always have the second one so with my couch i wanted like one of those really really big cloud couches but i didn't want to pay really really big cloud couch prices so i found this couch on wayfair and it works wonders you're able to kind of move all the pieces to kind of fit your space i just have them all together to kind of make the cloud couch but sometimes i move out these two to the sides to kind of have like the regular size sofa couch if you guys remember i had my concert wall so i kind of moved that right above the couch so all of the concerts i've been to over the past couple of years to kind of bring color into my apartment 
and then you just have the air conditioner <laughs> in the corner moving on we have this little corner here just with some miscellaneous things so i have my oil diffuser hand sanitizer tissue all of that and then my graduation pictures and then my ex's little sister her graduation pictures from high school so that's just like my peaceful little corner i was really proud of this corner because it just looks so good from the distance and then we have my throw blankets in this little basket that i got from target we have the tv entertainment area so that's just really really plain and then my tapestry and then just some silver stickle on circles to just kind of add something to that wall and then my internet so that's pretty much that i have a very clean look underneath here yep and that's pretty much my living room so next room we're gonna go to is the bathroom so right before you get to the bathroom or the bedroom i just also have this little walkway before you go either way so this closet right here is just another storage closet i'm not gonna open that because i just have a lot of stuff in there right now <laughs> to the left we have the bathroom so um if you guys remember in my empty apartment tour my bathroom is really really small so i didn't really do much with the bathroom i just have my wonderful shower curtain and then i actually just bought this rug it doesn't really fit in this bathroom but i needed a new rug so i just bought this one <laughs> we have my uh decorative towels and then this other decoration you can never be overdressed or overeducated Hello. We have the medicine cabinet mirror, just the top of the bathroom sink. I just wanted to keep it very, very simple. And then underneath here is just like all my hair products, body care, all of that. I don't know what this is called, but I needed more bathroom space. So I bought this little thing to kind of hold some of the stuff that didn't really fit underneath my bathroom sink to go right over the toilet a trash can and tissue so that's pretty much the bathroom it's really really small but it works and then last but not least is my bedroom so i actually just redid my bedroom and it's actually very very much more colorful than a lot of the other rooms i was feeling brown this time around so i went with brown and golds and grays and blacks you know just a lot of different colors so we have my floor lamp here which is super old i have some butterflies on the wall they're just like sticky butterflies some more canvas art my bed new sheets all of that is brand new so it just looks really really clean that is my closet again for storage and clothes so I'm not going to open that up my laundry basket more canvas art just to add color to the room ra lennox vinyl my northwestern bear candle speaker and then I have this in out here and then another one in my closet to kind of fold all of my other clothes. I have my shoes, miscellaneous junk that just doesn't fit in a drawer. And then I just have this wall up here with black women art. You know, I love to bring black women into my space. More butterflies and then just this quote that says one day at a time because that's literally all you can do. And then we have my full length mirror, which I take all of my pictures in. And then we just also have like my little book corner. So I have like this little book area, jewelry, picture books, all of that. And then another air conditioner. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, that is all for my apartment tour. It was super, super short because I didn't really go into detail to a lot of the stuff. Like I said, most of the things that I bought brand new for this apartment will be linked below in case you guys want to buy it. But if there's anything else that you guys saw in the apartment that you want to know where I got it from, just let me know down in the comment. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get on with the rest of my day because it's super super early i woke up really early to kind of get this out the way but if you like this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up share it with all your friends and of course subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this apartment tour hopefully fingers crossed that we won't have to do another apartment tour for a while because i do not plan on moving i do plan on renewing here so fingers crossed that works out all right you guys i'll see you in my next one bye